<laughs> oh golly gee whiz. <laughs> Whoopie doopy doo. <laughs> you know, there's just a certain time of day that's just exciting. It's like, ooh, ah, wow, cool, sunrise. Yeah. You know, I just, I get excited. It's like I, I sit back here where my computer is just kind of, you can almost see it. Matter of fact, if I went back in there, you could probably see me. But it's kind of like I'm sitting there at a computer working with, you know, like Nia and I, and, you know, kind of, unfortunately, my flat screen's gone. It broke, but, so I have this old monitor that's probably making me blind. But anyways, this old monitor, but the light comes up rising. The sunrise comes up. All of a sudden, there's a golden glow all over my porch. And then it begins to kind of like work its way through the window onto my desk and on the computer and I'm sitting here typing away and I'm looking at the sun going oh man Lord it's beautiful oh God that's glorious oh Father for me you give me a sunrise for me cool <laughs> I mean after a day of cloudy weather wow I kind of like having the sunshine back it's like that's what summer's all about sunshine Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> but you know, I like that about God. God is so cool to give us what we need. You know, sunrise, sunshine. You just kind of like enjoy it and you discover, wow, He has something in store for me. And He sent it to start with in the morning from the very moment that I open my eyes to the very time that I go to sleep because it says that He giveth His beloved sleep. Did you know that God said that? God said in His Word that He, the Father, gives His beloved, me and you, sleep. So it's not like a melatonin thing and it's not like a physical thing. It's like God says, okay, go to sleep. Boom, and you're out. <laughs> Okay, maybe some of you toss and turn a little bit and snore and, you know, do all the other things that go along with being under the curse. But guess what? Hmm. The scriptures are true. Yep. God gives us sleep. But more than that, He gives us sleep so that when we wake up, we can look ooh, at the beautiful sunshine the time of peace, the time of waiting on the Lord, the time of quiet splendor, that there's a moment in sunrise that's always there. Eternity is grasped in the rays of the sunrise as righteousness spreads its wings over the entire earth and envelops it in the glory of God and says, it is good. Really? Yeah. Bottom line. That's what the Spirit of God does in giving us eyes to see the light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And in Him there is no darkness. If you would learn to take a moment in your morning to be still, embraced by the light to be filled with the Spirit of God. <sighs> to let the Lord envelop you in His love. I think you discover that we are children of the light and children of the day. We don't need to stumble today. We can walk in the brightness of His glory and shine everywhere that we go. For we have been given something sublime that God has placed within us, His Son. And I think that's awesome. Don't you? <laughs> it's just too cool. I got Jesus in me. He calleth His own sheep by name, and He leads them out. The foundation of God stands sure, having this seal, the Lord knows them that are His. 
Let everyone that nameth the name of Jesus depart from iniquity. Many will say to me in that name, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have we not cast out demons? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. The Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Set me as a seal upon thy heart and as a seal upon thine arm. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. I am so thrilled that this is not my home. All I know is I'm not home yet. This is not where I belong. Take this world and give me Jesus. This is not where I belong. Do you belong here? Have you made this world your home? Oh man, I mean it's beautiful to summarize. It's wonderful, the sunshine. It's great when God sends his breeze through like he does in removing the trees and causes me to know that his spirit is moving about the earth, you know, roaming to and fro, looking for whose heart he may be strong on their behalf. But you know, I've got an imprint on my heart that's calling me someplace else that wants me to look up and realize I'm going home. <laughs> and this is just passing through. So I don't know what you're going to do today, but man, as long as there's light, walk in the light and put away the deeds of darkness and sin not. Choose not to sin today. Choose to walk in His way and learn to walk in His light as He is the light of the world.